Bienvenidos a Carrion. Estamos intentando cambiar el filtro del motor. El motor es Honda 20. Tiene mucha agua adentro por las lluvias. Supongo que por las lluvias. Y vamos a ver si, si lo podemos cambiar. So, Eva is basically changing on this Honda 20 um, four stroke outboard. She's just showing you how to, to change the, the fuel filter. Now, it's a bit annoying to get in. Uh, we're on the water, obviously, so we're, we're trying to do it without breaking the black hoses with the pliers. Now, what we do have here is the, um, a fuel water separator from it's a Yamaha one, but I suggest you, you, you add a fuel water separator before every outboard engine. It'll save you a lot of hassle with cleaning out your carbs all the time, because fuel does get dirty. But anyway, so yeah, Eva's just going to be careful yeah. pulling up. Vamos, vamos, yeah. vamos. There you go, she's, near, she's close. Hace mucho calor. Very hot here outside. Mexico. Not very easy sometimes to do the job. In the sun. <laughs> no question of a doubt though. Eva, I think you're definitely the most beautiful outboard mechanic I think I've ever seen. You won't break it. Yeah, it's not easy. You're more likely to break your fingers. Obviously, it would be better if we had uh, our own workshop, but we just don't. You know, we're just trying to trying to do the best that we can. So you can see Eva's just using the pliers. We to... are the service. Yeah, so we're using, she's just pulling out the filter, there you go. Um, trying her best not to get that petrol in the water. I know. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so you're, you're doing a good job. Okay, we're but with you. Just, yeah, just leave it there for a second. Just leave it there. See. Um, and no. with the other piece. So obviously, yes. I'm just let me explain you that the, um, you know, try not to black, grab the black pipe, otherwise it'll be a nightmare and I have, we have to take the engine off and strip it down. So if you can, get rid of that filter by, uh, by grabbing the, the filter itself and not not the um, not the black pipe that feeds it basically because that's gonna be twice as much work if we if we damage that so she's doing a good job Be careful, be careful, Eva, because you've got to keep that pipe, that black pipe, it's it's attached on the other end, so be careful. You know, you need to hold it, but, but not cut it. Yeah, but be careful not to pull too much tension on the black pipe, yeah, because it, it will, it'll come off the other side, at you know, the other end. There you go, got it. Boom. Done. That's how we do it. Yeah, so, let's see the filter. So you can see there's lots of deposits and stuff in the filter there. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, it's sand and grit. That's exactly what it's there for. Unbelievably, it's managed to pass through from the um, water fuel separator. But anyway, Let's see, there's lots of uh, rust, basically oxidative. Okay. Super. <laughs> All right. Okay. The so, what have you got to do to make it with a new filter? Um, to make sure the direction is okay. Yeah, I think this one is. That's up. right. That's the right direction. Yeah. Where the that's it. That's it. So how do we know that? Right. Just show everybody. There's a little arrow on the filter. So that's the direction of flow. So obviously it's coming from the. the obviously it's coming from the, the fuel tank. Um, <clears throat> and the flow is obviously from you know, from the fuel tank up in through the engine. Yeah, it's not easy. So now, just while Eva's doing that, I'm just inspecting the rest of the lines. You can see yeah, that this uh, this here is um, not looking too great. So I'm trying my best with the gimbal on this camera, but 
So yeah, just looking at looking at this, you can see that this 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 is broken a little bit. It's understandable why. Um, now when we for about a year, I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on, but basically the this connection for uh, the, the 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 compression and everything was working great in the engine. But as soon as I turned the throttle and gave it some juice, uh, basically the that engine just died, which was actually the connection here, this clip. So just basically see this clip here, pull that out and um, give yourself a bit of choke. Uh, now, well done. She's done it. Unbelievable. She's not completely useless. <laughs> All right. So, so we're going to see if this, this has caused us any improvement. So we're just going to fix we're going to just fix this before we push on we're going to fix this uh this this broken um, hose here yeah exactly so we need to grab a knife and then okay so you've cut the yeah exactly so it's dangerous babe so you've got the, the clip on and this and this but put it on the black piece first Yes, put it on the black piece first, and now put it on, on the filter. And filter, that's it. Okay. Don't do it too tight, just tight enough. That, otherwise it'll cut. That's it, that's good enough, yeah. Perfectísimo. Okay. So the world's most beautiful outboard repair. <laughs> the bumper, just to get some fuel in the new filter. Like that. Yeah, yeah. So I just yeah, so get a bit of pressure going in there. We don't see it now. Yeah, you should be able to see it going in. And put okay. a lot of pressure in, but keep going until the, you can't pump anymore so that we can see if there's any leaks in your in your new work. Yeah, okay. All right, let's see if we can get it started. So we're just gonna get the choke on first. So this is for an older outboard, and there's obviously the, probably the carbs could do it, could do with first a little bit of attention. So you're gonna pull out the choke, which I'm not sure in Spanish what this is called, but this is your choke. Let's see, see this here. We're gonna pull that out. There you go. Get around about that, and uh, okay. well, <clears throat> that makes the <clears throat> excuse me that makes the combination a bit more rich. So when the engine is cold like it is now. Uh, it should make it a bit easier to start and then once the engine warms up then we put the choke back in again and then we're going to just hold this turn this a little bit here the throttle itself just a little bit like that not flood it just keep it held and then Eva's going to give us a good pull go on go on pick back into it. go pick back pick back into it come on there she goes close yeah just like yeah that. yeah you see that this is a problem so I just I think this is important for some of the female viewers or the guys who are a little bit smaller although Eva's an extremely strong lady I think this is this is a good point you know it's a 20 20 horsepower outboard um, and without a battery or an electric start it's gonna be a little bit easier just save your energy babe that's not enough power so I'm just gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna hand Eva the camera and I'm gonna show you a little bit of technique how to start an older outboard, okay? So I, I've um, I've obviously got the lanyard in at the moment, and they're pretty important actually. You should keep those always on. So I'm just gonna show you how to start a slightly older outboard. First thing you do um, actually is have it on an angle like this first, like Eva has left it, um, and uh, pull the choke out. Don't pull it out all the way; just a little bit less than than further. I think generally. So this is the choke, and you can see it's out of its housing a little bit but we'll, we'll fix that later but um yeah so we've got the lanyard on and just a little bit of fuel first go uh and then we're going to see if i can i can pull it here so eva's had a couple of goes so let me see if i can no not first time, not second time. Oh, cerca. let's just do it without any fuel at all and then Hey, we put more in the filter, yeah. yeah one second. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the filter, I can see from here that there's not enough uh, fuel in the filter. So, try and get the, all, all that pressure in because 
I can see, you know, I'm pumping over here, you can't see with the camera, but basically the filter that you've just put in, I can see with the sunlight on it that it's still, still not completely full. A little trick that you can do, there's a little bit of an air block in the filter. So I'm going to pull this clip off and then just push, see that little nipple? Push that and it kind of starts things going again. Let's try it now. And then get that in. Let's try pumping a little bit. There we go. to myself now the camera's here. Uh, close. And you'll notice what I'm doing, I might be flooding it a little bit, but I'm trying to turn it just as, as soon as I get that first, you know, explosion. So let's see it with our... No. Close. That, that's a good example of the technique. So just as I got that first you know, the, the first uh, combustion, just give it a bit of... Now I want to show you something else, I don't know if you can see my hand on the throttle either. You're going to have to go right down. But watch when I turn, if you listen, listen to this. See the way it's about to die? Just a second there, it was about to die if I, if I come in too quick. That's, that's probably the carburetors, although I'm not an engine expert. I think I know from experience. It's getting a bit, it's a bit better now, it's warming up. So if you watch, you should reach the limiter now. It's definitely running. You know, that's full I'm going to pop that one in. So, it's certainly be running. Fix that little piece. Now it's ready to go. Standing on my sunglasses, of course. Let's get this all there. Now, if I was going to do this all again, to be honest, I know in one of my previous videos, at the very early days, before I got across the Atlantic, I thought, Honda, great, reliable. But it is pretty good, but because of parts, and generally, I just, I, I, if I was going to do it again, I would, I would get a Yamaha. And it's not very ethical and it's not as fuel um, fuel savvy but the two strokes are better uh, for offshore boats because the two stroke having a bit of oil in the mixture helps if you've got water in the mix so they'll bar up a bit better but they're not as fuel efficient uh, that's from what I know so we sound like we're good here I'm gonna drop this engine Before we have a problem with the fuel, no? Is that? Fuse? We have a problem with the fuse before? No fuse problem in this one, right? That's in gear now. But what is the pieces we changed before the... He what has it? like a burn piece, do you remember? Oh, that's a spark plug, yeah, the spark plug. If you can show that yeah, one. we changed the spark plug in it about, about... No, that was this time last year in Mexico. But, yeah, listen. All of these, all of these outboards, they're not ideal, obviously, in the marine environment. But asking around my fishermen friends, and generally, stick with the Yamaha. If, you, if we go around, we go around the dock now. Later, we'll take the camera with us, and I'll show you how many outboards there are here and what people choose. Now, I haven't got experience with Suzuki, so I don't know. But Honda motorbikes, like I've said in my previous videos, are, are very reliable, and the build quality is excellent on the motorbikes. Um, but the Yamaha seems to be of reliability and getting parts out in this part of the world anyway whereas in Europe these Hondas sell better now obviously I've just learned this stuff by messing around with motorbikes if there are any outboard mechanics or any of you guys are a lot more knowledgeable than me please drop a comment in the comments section and you can help the rest of the world including myself 
about uh, I think I made the right the right assumption. So if you if you can listen to the induction here, if you, if you listen really carefully, listen. You can, you can hear the induction. That's working a lot better now. Um, but if you if you if you've got problems with your like water in your carbs or just crap in your carbs, what will happen is I'll try and mimic it. If I go. It'll try to breathe in and it'll just stop the engine and you have to restart it. That, that's what generally dirty carbs sound like, personally from my experience. Uh, but like I said, it'd be great to have all your opinions. And on the same point, um, I'm extremely grateful for um, you know everybody's comments on the generator um, on the generator video. I'm extremely grateful for all your comments. And um, you know it's uh, it's pretty humbling actually. Uh, there's always balance in life, so we've got. On, I think on my channel mostly I've got really really cool people watching and adding value so thanks so much for that folks but of course there's balance and unfortunately recently um, I, I decided to close down my Instagram account um, and that's largely because um, some chap who's just bought a Neil 51 is just a little bit too uh, demanding and basically I feel he was exploiting me a little bit so um, you know you would say just block it but um, you know we get some other loonies as well um, obviously uh, you know, I don't know whether you noticed, but Eva's a pretty beautiful lady, so I get some strange comments about that. And also, bizarrely, I get some people interested in me, which is uh, kind of weird. But listen, uh, <laughs> uh, so you've seen the world's most beautiful outboard mechanic, and that is definitely not me. And um, so thanks again, everybody. And uh, yeah, leave your comments below and give us a like.